Hi there! I just wanted to take a minute to uh, update you on my latest little project here. Before I do get to into it, let me explain a little of the background story. My daughter and I are doing a show coming up, and we've decided the theme for the show will be uh, down the rabbit hole. So it involves a whole lot of different things, anywhere from Alice in Wonderland to The Matrix to just some abstract kinds of things that, that are along that theme. When I was in college, I read books by Hunter Thompson. The first one was uh, Fear and Loathing on the Campaign Trail. If you know Hunter Thompson, his reporting is not general reporting. Uh, it's pretty crazy stuff. And as a 20-something college kid, I read this stuff, and it was like mind-blowing kinds of things. But the deal is, if anybody went down a rabbit hole, it was Hunter Thompson. There's no doubt about it. So the piece I'm working on is a tribute to him. The other piece of that is that all of the books were illustrated by a man named Ralph Steadman, and there couldn't have been a better marriage between the writing of the book and the illustrations of that book, because his illustrations were just the perfect examples of what Hunter Thompson was writing and the drugs and everything else that were involved in those stories. So anyway, here's what I'm working on. It's my tribute, as I say, to Hunter and Ralph. I've done the outline, so I have a lot more work to do yet, but here's the outline. This is all cut in with a wood-burning pen. There's my pen. So it's all cut in with the pen. What I've done, this is Ralph's work, frankly, in here. What I've done is a little bit of extra to it, is I've added the rabbit ears to follow that theme of down the rabbit hole. And then this was for the, the Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas book. And instead of having the Fear and Loathing in here, I've added the Gonzo, because what Hunter Thompson, what they called Hunter Thompson's journalism was Gonzo journalism. So I've added the Gonzo in here. So I have a lot of work yet to do to fill this in. Some of this, these smaller pieces, I will use the wood-burning tool to get into those. Usually what I do with like bigger pieces like this, that's when I get out my bigger torch and start blowing the flames into those and burning those out. These are a little bit more complicated, a little bit smaller, so I haven't quite decided for sure which way I'll go with that. But take a look later on uh, the Facebook page and probably my website, and uh, we'll have this done hopefully in the next four or five days. Also, one other thing, one little tip. This looks, this is pallet wood, by the way, that I've just torn apart and cut into shape. This looks like it's stained, but it's actually not. It's good old craft paint that I have that I put into a cup and just watered the heck out of. And so that diluted it down to where I could put it on here rather than go buy big cans of stain. I use paint for these kinds of projects. I also use them for things when I want a watercolor effect. So this is another piece I'm working on with Alice. These are pages from a book I've taken out. And as you can see, it's three-dimensional. Uh, but to be able to still see the words and the, the graphics that are involved in these pages, I've diluted that, those colors down, and uh, you can see right through them, so it looks very much like watercolor paint instead of regular acrylic paint. All right, like I say, stay tuned. Uh, check back later, and you'll be able to see the finished work.